So let's take a closer look at Iowa's COVID hospitalizations. This is data from the Iowa Department of Public Health. That dotted line is the 14 day moving average and it is currently trending down exactly what we want it to do. Last month's surge far surpassed the first surge we dealt with this year. Few, uh, stu still fewer patients are taking up Iowa hospital beds than a month ago. So how should you interpret these numbers? We're talking to the experts tonight. Local 5's Lake and McGee reports. We're optimistic about the direction that we're heading with the numbers. That's good news. Optimistic. That's the word the governor is using to characterize these numbers. The number of hospitalized patients with COVID in Iowa medical centers and the number of new cases we're seeing each day. So let's look at the data. Hospitalizations are still very, very high, hovering around 900 or so each day, but dropping. That's good news. Now, this is the latest snapshot of COVID cases. We're seeing an average of more than 1,000 new cases added each day, and the Iowa experts say that isn't the best place to be. And it seems to be plateauing. It seems to, uh, to, to have stopped. Um, this may be, again, the beginning of a resurgence of an increase in cases as a result of the holidays. Uh, but even if there is no increase in cases, even if there is no second peak, uh, plateauing at a, ver at a very high level, 2,000, 3,000 new cases per day, is still problematic. Why? Because when you see more and more cases, you're likely to see more and more hospitalizations. It will continue stressing our healthcare system. Uh, and more importantly, Iowans will, you know, will be sick. You know, some will die. Dr. Salina says he senses more Iowans are taking the virus seriously, and that's a reason to be hopeful. I, I sensed the, the, uh, that our uh, local leaders were uh, started taking it more seriously. They started uh, expressing their concern. And we do see signs of that with more masking mandates from city and local leaders. I'm Lake and McGee for Local 5 News. We are Iowa. And remember, the experts say it is simple to reduce the spread of COVID-19. Wash your hands, keep your distance and wear a mask.